Turn him. Hey, Eliza. Let's see. Ah, oh, shit. You can't turn it off. Well, let's see how it is. Apparently, it's good. <laughs> okay, this is not too bad at all. Wow. This is fine. Yeah, light switches can be turned on and off. Use the darkness to evade any threats. However, too many light switches on at time may trigger a power cut. Okay, that's not good. Oh yeah, don't turn too many on. This just started, yeah. Pick up Christopher from doctors. Pick up Christopher's Arifiprazole pills. Grocery. See mother on the 6th. 10 p.m. Talk to in-laws about funeral arrangements. Christopher's play date. 15. Right. Oh, the filter isn't that bad. I, th I thought it would be worse, but it's quite fine. Fucking shit. Oh my god, you can turn off the VHS effect. Hey, you. Man found dead by 13 year old boy on October 31st. An unnamed child found his father hanging in their family home after a supposed divorce between the parents. This has been the 12th suicide this year relating to spouse-related issues. Police aren't suspecting foul play. In the neighboring town of Mastin, Mastin three teenagers and one police officer, M. Andrews, were found brutally murdered in the Miller and Son slaughterhouse. It is still unclear what happened within this abandoned slaughterhouse. But officials say it has made all officers and EMTs who arrived at the scene resign, being too gruesome to describe. These officials are now seeking sight. Psychiatric therapy. The Greenfield Raiders scored 24 points last night against the Knoxville Bandits, helping boost them to the top of the major league for this Sunday's game. Little League has reportedly been cancelled for this evening due to severe weather warnings issued by the Greenfield weather analysts. Severe flooding and thunderstorms are apparent and could cause major problems. Mom, dear Christopher, I've left a list of chores for you to complete while we're away tonight. Hey, if you don't you have any problems, give Nana a call. Please don't forget your pills. If anyone comes to the door or window tonight, please go to your closet and lock the door. 
Okay. If the power goes out or the fu the fuse box in the basement. I love you so much, Christopher. There's no Popeyes watching down on you. He was so proud of his little boy. Love mom. Okay. Um. Cola trinken. Clean up dirt on the floor. Do the dishes, do the laundry, food in the dog bowl, take your pills. Someone just opened the door. I'm dead. Oh my fucking god, man. What is this game? Hey, you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm up against, dude. Please don't soil help, please don't soil. Cola trinken. Everything's fine. Can't see fucking shit. I'm dead. I can't even see. Ah, it's over. <laughs> Brother, what the fuck is this basement? The power is turned off by storms and other forces. Your sanity will drain rapidly until the power is enabled. All electrical equipment will be disabled. Oh, is that because I hear... Is that what... Is that what I hear the music? Ah, oh, it's when your sanity gets low. Fuck off, that wasn't even me. Oh yeah, turn off the light. Okay, this is... Garage. Okay, so you have to hide. There's some dude is gonna break in, dude. This is a survival game. You have to survive. And we've gotten a to-do list. Should schedule another Dread Hunger stream, friends? Uh, no, we haven't done it yet because people are like sick and stuff from the con. Hey, you Yo, fuck this. This is super creepy. All of this just works. 
I'm going. Nothing scares me. I'm gonna soy howl so goddamn loud the moment something happens and my voice is just not gonna work anymore. <sighs> Please, just let me... Fuck that noise. I don't know if someone's trying to break in or whatever. Hey, you. Fuck. <laughs> nah. Fuck. Dude, I can't do anything. What? There's a cloak timer or some shit. Oh my god, I swear if there's a jump there's gonna be a loud ass jump scare. Please no, please no, please no. Give me some- oh, fuck's sake. My chest hurts. Chest? <coughs> what am I running from? I don't know. <laughs> I think someone's trying to break into the apartment. Oh no. No. What the hell is that? Hello? Oh, fuck this. Okay, we're cleaning up dirt and hey, stuff. You. We're good. Schnuderi, thanks for the six months. Thank you. What is that? Yo, what the fuck is that? is behind you. <coughs> Can't see. Why is the door closed? Oh no. The door is... Fuck. This game is really creepy and nothing has happened.
Okay, I'm just gonna assume. There's literally no threats. It's just the power. Hello? Okay, actual fucking chills, dude. Hey, you. Alex. Man, uh, my chest actually hurts. This shit's fucking terrifying. Hey, <sighs> oh yeah, I'm supposed to like do chores. I'm just kind of like... Oh. Bro, there's dirt fucking everywhere. Okay, here. Yeah, uh, this is mom's to do. No, this, this, I don't know. And power goes out in three, two, one, one, one. I need to like do dishes and shit. I did do some dishes. And bang. Up Fucking the hell, dude. You are Kim, thanks 39, 37. Yeah, Jabba, thank you. Jason, 37. Uh, th thank you, thank you. Yeah, I have a lot to do in this hey, place, honestly. You. I've been to so many events and stuff, I haven't had time to really. To really move in yet as you can see here <sighs> I don't know man fuck this game makes me feel so uneasy I need to check the to-do list here no don't forget to take your pills it says oh clean up dirt on the floor and take pills okay so those are the things i gotta do all right let's do that there's just where are the pills though
And there's more dirt. <sighs> My fucking heart is gonna oh, explode. Fuck off. No, not some new weird fucking ambience. What does it mean? Some, something is here. I think I'm dead. <coughs> oh, I'm actually sweating. this fucking dirt and leave where is it <coughs> hey you that must be all of it oh god oh a flashlight oh my god <laughs> No, 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 no. What the fuck is this? No. And bang, up the butt. My diary? I found a hole in my closet today. It's smelly and old, but I feel safe in here. Like nothing bad can happen to me in here. It's my own secret. If I told dad, it would just cover it up and say it's dangerous or something. Hey, you. <laughs> Eric was outside my window last night asking to come in and play, but when I asked mom, she looked so scared and called dad. Hey, when I you. told Eric he couldn't come in, he got so angry and walked away. I went to the hospital today. The doctor said I should try writing in his journal to help them understand me. I don't want to, but my mom's making me. This feels stupid and so pointless. Um, they were talking a lot. But I was listening until my mom started crying. I'm so used to her crying now and Eric says she hates me. He's probably right. Everyone does. The doctor gave me some pills to take. They make me so tired I'm always asleep now. I fell asleep in class and everyone made fun of me. Something inside me... Something inside me wants to stop taking these pills, but the doctor said it'll make me better. I took some more tonight and waited for Eric outside my window like every night, but he never showed up. I was so sad I feel like everyone I know hates me. I woke up this morning and saw Eric outside again. I was so happy. I talked to him for a while and he asked to come in. But as I went to the front door, my mom shouted at me. I explained, but she was so mad. She kept saying Eric can never come in, come in again. I think Eric overheard us talking because I heard him shouting outside. He seems really mad. I hope he still likes me. I drew some more pictures of me and Eric. Maybe I'll hey, give him you. to him tomorrow. I did some coloring today for mom. She put them on the fridge. She was so happy until I asked if Eric could come over for supper as he was outside. She looked so scared and gave me so many pills. I felt so sick and I threw up later. Eric must have left again because I didn't see him all night after that. Yo, fuck me. This is actually so creepy. Eric? Eric? Wait, you have 27%. Shit. Oh, God. Yo, I don't want to leave this. This is actually fucking terrifying.
Eric? It was 95%. Wait, what? Okay, I'm just gonna sprint. Dan, thanks to the 19. Gotcha for the 27. Suga, thanks to 31. Baker Girl, 14. Makin, 40. Racine, 73. Daniel, 2. God, Evan, you're so in the workout. Thanks to the 10. Thank you, guys. Fuck this ambience. Fuck Eric. Fuck my heart. I think this is me losing my mind. Yeah, it is. You need to go turn on the light or you lose sanity. Fuck, I have to just run. Uh. Uh. Who is fuck, man? <sighs> Where's the fucking pills? <coughs> Look at this. Take your pills. Me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. I have no flashlight anymore soon. Life is cool, gonna die. IRL. <sighs> Bro, is there a threat or not? I'm so. <sighs> The game told me to like hide in the shadows and shit if someone's coming. But I... Fuck, man. Where's my fucking pills? Oh, I'm dropping so many F-bombs now. F-bombs are cool. Nay, 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 nay. Oh my god, my my chest actually hurts. Oh god, what's Fuck shit. Am I not losing battery anymore? I am. Us. Okay, there's weird ambience. What I need is pills. Hey, you. Give me some. F is these pills? Oh, fold laundry. Hold, hold, I'm in the light, I'm in the light. G give me, give me, give me. That's just 
to do list for I don't goddamn know. Pills? Yes, I took pills! Yo, I got it! I did it! <coughs> I did it! Oh no, Eric is gonna arrive now that I took pills, which means Eric is actually real. Fuckity fuckity. Eric. I can't. Yeah, nothing is happening, and this game is so goddamn creepy. Now what? I've done everything in my list, dude. See? If anyone comes to the door or window tonight, please go to your closet. Anyone comes through the door window tonight, please go to your closet and unlock the door. Hi, Christopher. It's Eric. I see no one's home tonight. Please, can you let me in? Your mom won't know I came in. We can play some games like hide and seek. I know how much you like hiding in your bedroom closet at night. Maybe you could start there. When the lights go off, you have 30 seconds and then I'll come in and get ready. What? this Matt Lay, thanks 76, dude. You can't lock the door. Okay, I need to run and start the power, but now I'm too scared to leave. Ah, my fucking chest actually hurts from this.
Someone's fucking running! Let's go! What the fuck? What? Was this scripted? Oh no. Wait, what? Wait, what? How dare she take my only fucking child? I'm so sorry, Christopher. I'll do everything to get you back to your father, that fucking bitch. While I'm stuck here, rotting in this tiny apartment, she's out being some slut using my al alimony, alimony, uh, alimony, uh, and house to fuck whoever she wants. She'll pay. Oh, she'll pay. I've just the plan to really get to her for life. It involves a chain in her garage. I know she's out all night, so I'll sneak in and give her the biggest surprise of all. My, My fucking dead hanging body. See you in hell, bitch. The fucking volume turned itself off. take this anymore it feels like this whole house is cursed like it's slowly eating at me i feel like i'm dying inside nothing feels right anymore christopher's constant crying and whining about eric my husband's attitude and always starting unnecessary arguments just yesterday he pulled a knife out on me with this crazed look yelling about finally ending it all i just took christopher and ran to my god why did i marry him I've decided a divorce is the only thing left for us. This relationship has gone on for far too long, James. This needs to end now. Otherwise, I don't think I'll survive any longer. I'm crying every night now. Only the wine is calming my nerves. I can feel the other moms at Christopher's school staring at me every day. This house... ...is cursed. Fucking Chad here, hello?
Eric has started to act really strange. He's been telling me to do things which I don't want to do. He said I had to kill a cat, otherwise mom would be hurt. I didn't do it, but mom seems upset now. Did I do something wrong? Maybe Eric was right. L last night we had a pizza party with dad and mom. It was so fun dancing and eating pizza all night long. I got tired though and started to draw Eric, who was watching us play and dance all night long. Mom! Mom! Mom saw me drawing and looked scared. I said he was outside, but she didn't believe me. Dad got really mad, so I ran and hid in my secret room. He never found me. Mom said I need to go for a checkup today, but I don't feel sick. Eric said it was a trick, but I don't believe him. I'm starting to see him a lot more now, which I don't mind. He's always so funny and kind to me. Not my mom or dad, though. Very good. It is very, very good. Don't think it's too healthy for me, though. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> Dr. Schultz Edwards report. Christopher's mother has brought in Christopher today for a well-being checkup. At first glance, he appeared normal. However, with a glazed, fixed stare outside the window, this seemed normal at first. Although, when he mentioned he could see someone smiling outside the window, I became suspicious. As we were on the sixth floor, after all. After analyzing Christopher for most ailments of his age, I believe PTSD and or psychoactive dissociative disorder fits the closest. However, this is rare in someone his age, and has no real treatment apart from a constant dose of sedation. I need to dwell deeper into this young boy. It seems as if he's at breaking point. No, Christopher has a possibly alternate personality called Eric. Extreme caution must be taken when evaluating Christopher, due to the sensitive nature of this condition. No relapse at this moment in time. C citation and extra analysis needed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the claw set. That would be here. Yeah. <laughs> Must be some new shit happening. diary thank you christopher really you've allowed me to become free you're exactly where i've been these past years waiting and waiting and waiting for you to let me free now it's time for eric to become in control for a while all those doctors were wrong christopher they just wanted to hurt you and take you away from me but you listened to my commands those pills hurt me hey, and helped you. me from to take control much sooner i can't wait for you to see what we have become together i can't wait for you to see what we have become together I know this is confusing, Christopher. I wish I could explain better. So instead, allow me to take control even more. Allow me to commit my final act, Christopher. Allow myself inside you.
Wait, a good ending? Wait, what? Did I escape? I think it might have taken me as I as I died. Because that door was gradually opening. It was like heaven. Dear mom, that night changed me forever. I'll never go back to the way I was before. Now I understand. I now understand that Eric wasn't real. After all these years, finally coming to realize that I had another personality was tough to process. The doctors say that that suicide had created some sort of coping mechanism inside my brain. Eric was that coping mechanism. I'll never be the same, but I'll make damn sure Eric never comes back. I think I got the good ending because that door was slowly opening and I was crouching under and I think I triggered it right before I died to the guy. After all, I have a kid on the way now, mom. Wait, what? What? Years later, I guess, yeah. True. Ida, thanks for the 21. Ida, Ida. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my hearing got completely fucked up by this game. My goofy... <laughs> your goofy scared shout had me dying. That shit was fucking pain. That final scare was absolutely terrifying. Because I, I was... I saw... Inside you. The thing is, I realized... <coughs> I realized that, um... Right here, I was like, wait, where's the chains on the door? Oh, the, wait, the door is gradually opening. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually made it in there, and that's why I got a good ending, I think. I think so. Fuck, that's so loud. It was so loud. You were supposed to die if you get caught. Yeah, I. the thing is, I managed to squeeze in there as he caught me, I guess. <laughs> Fuck, that's so loud. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, my heart.